Welcome back to Valhalla VW. We've been away for a little while, um, so we just thought we'd do a quick video, a bit of a catch up, let everyone know we're, well, we're still here, still alive. Yeah, let's bring you up to speed, what we've got coming on, what we've got coming up. So, <clears throat> we need to do the ball joints on the T4 as we've started to get a little bit of a knock. So that will be coming up in a video very soon before we lose the front wheel. Um, that's what I do. I've got a few more bits and pieces just to get finished off inside the living area in the back because this summer we've got a pretty big trip lined up up to Scotland. We're going to be doing the NC500. Uh, we've got approximately four weeks. So we're going to... Yeah, should be a nice trip. We're going to be going up through uh, Yorkshire, uh, either Dale side or through the moors. And then we can't decide yet whether to go east to west or west to east on the NC500. So this is where you come in. If anyone's done the NC500, what do you recommend? Drop it in the comments below, let us know. Um, depending on where you look and what you read, both, you know, there's 50% say you should go east to west and 50% say you should go west to east. So, we don't know. So, if people with experience, let us know. Greatly appreciated. Uh, what else we've got coming up? Um, I think that's it, just fiddly bits, really. We've got the dashboard and that needs a bit of a tidy up after I took the clocks and everything out. I still haven't managed to get them back in yet because I've been flat out. So they'll be going back in hopefully this week. Um, hoping to get some more yacht varnish on once the weather breaks and gets a bit a bit less wet. Um, so yeah, if I don't know if you remember from previous videos, we've done two coats of yacht varnish. Uh, we're aiming for four to get a nice deep shine. So that'll be coming up soon once the weather gets better. And we've still got to get the sump and everything done. Um, Need to source a sump and get that sorted out as soon as possible. So that's probably going to be the video after the ball joints. Um, I don't know if you're f with the sump, but basically the engine when we bought the van had been really badly fitted. It's an Audi 80 engine, and the sump on it is obviously the, the the T4 engine is designed to sit like this, and the Audi engine is designed to sit like this. So what we end up with is the sump at this angle which means obviously the oil is getting pushed out of the dipstick. So basically, well, it's a constant oil change, so we've never got dirty oil, but it's um, it's a bit of a headache having to keep top it up. So we need to get the um, get an ABL sump, get that bolted on, and then we need a longer oil, I think it's an oil pickup, pickup pipe we need to get sorted out as well. So that'll be coming up in a future video in the not too distant future, because we want that done before we hit the NC500. Um, well, I think that's about it, really. I said we've got some shorts and bits and pieces we've been working on. Um, little man's grown really well. He's running around now, talking. He's the right little character, so it'd be nice to get him away in the van for his first first proper trip. Um, so yeah, so everything's going good. I uh, hope everything's right with everyone out there. And um, like I say, it's just a quick video, just to let you know that we're still here. Uh, that we appreciate all the support. The followers just recently subscribers have gone through the roof we're nearly at 400 now so thanks very much to each and every one of you it's really appreciated and um onward to a thousand when i said that when i first started the channel i didn't think it was possible but i am now beginning to believe that we will one day get there so we appreciate all your support i uh, hope we can keep continue you know making videos that you enjoy watching hope we continue to help people out i think we helped a few people with the uh, dash dash one so that's good good to know and uh yeah that's it that's all i've got to say it's just thanks for the support we're still here we're still plugging away we've still got the old van the van's still breaking so we're still mending stuff so obviously we've still got the starlet which we need to get sorted out but that just keeps getting pushed pushed to the back because i just ain't got the time and i'd rather work on the t4 so that's but we'll get that sorted out this year as well. So stay tuned for that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. We really appreciate it. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.